क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर नाइन द प्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड एक्सटर्नल फर्टिलाइजेशन फर्स्ट कम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फर्टिलाइजेशन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इज द फ्यूजन ऑफ ए स्पर्म एंड एन ओवम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ द स्पर्म एंड ओवम इज प्रोड्यूस्ड when sperms come in contact with an egg one of the sperms may fuse with the egg the fusion of the egg and the sperm is called fertilization during fertilization the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse to form a single nucleus this result in the formation of a fertilized egg that is called zygote again remember this zygote is a single cell okay and this zygote is the beginning of a new individual now just see this diagram in this diagram process of fertilization is indicated it is number of as we have discussed millions millions of sperms are produced and there is only one egg per month from one of the ovary is produced and these number of sperms approaches to the ovum but only one sperm fuses with the ovum and result in the formation of zygote okay the process of fertilization is the mating of an egg cell from the mother and a sperm cell from the father so the new individual inherits some characteristics from the mother and some from the father types of fertilization two types of fertilization are there one is called internal fertilization and another is called external fertilization now first what the meaning of internal fertilization fertilization which takes place inside the female body is called internal fertilization like in human fertilization occurs in oviduct and as we already discussed oviduct is present in female body and this is the part of female reproductive organ internal fertilization occurs in many animals including humans cows dogs and ants you can also see in this diagram some aquatic animals like shark and octopus internal fertilization also occur in these external fertilization fertilization in which the fusion of a male and a female gametes takes place outside the outside the body of the female is called external fertilization okay it is very common in aquatic animals such as fish starfish etc okay like it is fish amphibians amphibian means that is like frog which live in the water as well as on the land these are the amphibians i think it is clear the friends between internal fertilization and external fertilization internal fertilization takes place inside the female body while external fertilization takes place outside the body of female now external fertilization in frogs during spring or rainy season frogs and toads move to ponds and slow flowing slow flowing streams that is the stream of water in which water is flowing slowly when the male and female come together in water the female lays hundreds of eggs frog's egg is not covered by a shell and it is comparatively very delicate shell i think you are again have seen the egg of a hen egg of hen it is covered with the one white covering that is called it shell okay but in case of frog's egg that is outer covering is not there a layer of jelly holds the eggs together and provides protection to the eggs as the eggs are laid the male deposits sperm over them each sperm swims randomly in water with the help of its long tail the sperm come in contact with the eggs and this result in fertilization you can see this diagram representing the eggs of frog okay and uh, these are present in a one jelly okay this is a layer of jelly holds these eggs 
development of embryo fertilization results in the formation of zygote which begins to develop into an embryo the zygote divides repeatedly to give rise to a ball of cells okay now see this is ovary and this is fallopian tube in this fallopian tube fertilization occurs and this zygote is formed and in this zygote cell is divided and this will convert into one ball of cells okay and again you can see in this case this ball of cells again repeatedly increases and finally this will come to this uterus the cells then begin to form groups they develop into different tissues and organs of the body this developing structure is termed an embryo okay this is termed as an embryo the embryo gets embedded embedded means fixed firmly and deeply in the wall of the uterus for further development you can see this diagram this is a uterus wall and this this is the developing area a developing embryo and this is embedded in this wall okay now fetus the embryo continues to develop in the uterus it gradually develops body parts such as hands legs heads head not heads head only single head is there eyes ears etc the stage of the embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called a fetus so again check the spelling f o e t u s fetus when the development of the fetus is complete the mother give birth to the baby you can see this diagram fetus in the uterus okay and all the body parts can be identified in this now come to fertilization in hens internal fertilization takes place in hens but hens do not give birth to babies like human beings and cows then question raj is how are chicks chicks born as we know young one of hen is called chick then if this hen do not give birth to babies like human being and cows then how are chicks born okay we will discuss soon after fertilization that is this fertilization is taking place internally fertilization is internal fertilization after soon fertilization the zygote divides repeatedly and travels down the oviduct as it travels down many protective layers are formed around it the hard shell in a hen's egg is one such protective layer after the hard shell is formed around the developing embryo the hen finally lays the egg and again these chickens can be categorized in the two categories chickens raised for eggs are known as layers and chickens raised for meat are called broilers okay now we are continuing discussing fertilization in hens the embryo takes about 3 weeks to develop into a chick hen sits on the eggs to provide sufficient warmth that is warmth means heat you can see this diagram okay development of the chick takes place inside the egg cell during this period and after the chick is completely developed it breast open the egg cell like this okay this egg cell is opened and this chick comes out from this egg okay and again you can must you must know what the difference between broiler and layers broilers and layers broilers these are the chickens which are used to uh, get the meat in layers these are the chickens which are used to get uh, or we can say whatever the eggs or uh, food we are taking from chickens dead chickens are known as layers okay now viviparous and oviparous animals the animals 
which give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals. For example, dog, cow, or cat. Again, again, see this diagram. Viviparous, which give birth to young ones like cow, cat, donkey, dog, monkey, giraffe. Even human beings are also viviparous. The animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals. For example, frog, lizard, butterfly, or moth, hen, and crow. You can also th see this diagram. These are the you can say oviparous animals like snake, turtle, chicken, duck, lizard, crocodile, owl, platypus. Okay. Thank you.